So in this video, I am going to talk about Anaconda Navigator, which is a tool that it's pre-installed when you install Anaconda. So hey guys, this is Vishwet. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So let's start with the video. So I have made videos on Anaconda on how to install Anaconda on Windows, how to install Anaconda on Linux. Okay. So if you check my Anaconda playlist, so here I have made videos on how to create an Anaconda environment, how to install a Anaconda environment. So all the details are present over here. So Anaconda is like a Python distribution specially targeted towards data science and machine learning. So I have made playlist on installations and how to use them. So in my videos, you have seen that uh, this video uses terminal on where I execute commands and then we are able to create environments, install packages. But there is actually another tool which we can use to do few of the things what we do using the terminal. So generally when you use Anaconda, this is also installed by default. So it's called as Anaconda Navigator. Okay. So let's let's turn this on so anaconda navigator is like the gui version of what we generally do in the windows terminal or in terminal in linux it's a little bit slower to load but it will load in some time so here you can see it has already loaded our anaconda navigator now here if you load it for the first time it might ask you to update and all so you can just skip that part or you can just tell it to remind you later so you will be seeing a lot of icons like this so these are like the tools that you can install or have installed so for example i have installed jupyter lab jupyter notebook so it's showing launch over here okay even we have the powershell prompt i have the pycham community so also we have the pycham professional so we also have r studio Basically, you can install this particular tools fine. They are used a lot. But the main thing that I'm going to show you is the environments part. Let's go to the environment. Yep. So you can see these are all the environments that I have installed. Okay. So if you run the commands to uh, check what are the environments that are present, you will find these are the environments. I know the text is very small because it's it's actually it is very small. Even I'm I'm not able to see it see it clearly. So for example, this is a library management system, the environment for library management system. I have actually made a video on this. If you want to watch, you can go and watch that. So I'll click on it and it will get activated. I should say it will show us all the libraries that are present and a few of the libraries that we have installed, like the PW input. So you can view the environments and you can view the particular libraries that are present in that environment okay now if you want to uh, search for a particular package maybe you, you can search it over here maybe i want to search pw input so definitely i can do that so first i will show you how you can create a new environment so let like i'll go i'll create this environment okay i'll press on the create button and it will take some time to load the python packages yep it loaded now here we can create r in r packages i am not much expert in r but definitely we can create a python package now here i will create python python test or a python yt test okay so if i press create so now it's starting to, to create the environment. You can see it installed the Python, like Python YT test environment. Uh, I, I should say it created the environment and installed all the required packages. So these are the required packages. So the Python version is 3.11. You can see over here. I know the text is very small, but like I am saying, so just believe me, it's 3.11. So now, uh, for example, what happened so python like the anaconda navigator is really slow like it takes a lot of time to load and that's the reason it's like it's it's really very slow and it's not recommended but definitely if you don't want the terminal you can use this one 
So maybe if I search for Python, we are able to search, right? You can search your packages from here. Now, if you want to install a particular package, we can do from here also like uh, this, this is showing all the packages that are installed. Now, if I select all, now let's suppose if I want to install a package, maybe, maybe pandas. Okay, so if I install pandas, pandas version is 1.5.3. Let's install pandas. I clicked on here. I'll, I'll do an apply. Okay, so it will prompt us once and it might prompt us twice because of the dependencies so okay it is prompting us once and it is pulling out all the dependencies that is required for pandas to work now if i do apply it will start installing it will start downloading the packages and start installing them so it completed installing pandas now if i just check install you can see okay I'll remove the pandas over here so you can see it installed pandas yep it installed pandas over here 1.5.3 okay so you can install any packages from here also so just go just uh, select this and go to all and just search for the package that you want to install and it will be installed hopefully all the packages that you want to search should be present over here Okay, if not, then obviously you have to use the pip, but hopefully everything should be present over here. Now, definitely there are other options called as clone. So you can clone an environment. Let's clone it. Okay. So for example, if I have worked on a particular environment and I have used few of the libraries that I again want to use for a different project, I can clone them. So let's clone it. So it will ask for a new environment name. I will tell Python YT test clone fine so let's tally whether it is able to install all the packages that are present from where we are cloning or not so now if i check if i go to python yt test so we can see there are like including pandas if i consider pandas and other few packages so you can see there are 34 packages present over here this 34 is very small but it is showing 34 and if I go to Python YT test clone, here also it is showing 34 packages available. So it was successfully able to clone the Python YT test into Python YT test clone. So we were able to clone a, a Conda environment successfully. So likewise, we have import, we have backup, we have remove. So do I need to demonstrate? Maybe let's demonstrate one process. So let me back up the Python YT test clone, okay? So if I do backup, probably it's going to take forever to back it up. So I don't know where it is backing up. Maybe I will just do backup. Okay, it's asking me a path. I will paste them on this desktop. And okay, it's, it's showing YAML file. Okay, let's do Python Conda backup. If I do save, okay, that was very fast. So if I just check the YAML file that got generated, I just wanted to see what it contains. If I open that with sublime text, okay. So it contains the environment name, the channels and the particular dependencies that are present. Okay, so it has all of the file versions and the channels that are available. So it has the complete metadata. So fine, that's the reason it was able to back it up. Actually, so it, it contains the metadata. This contains the metadata, not actual files that have been installed. So now if I want to maybe if I backed if I have backed it up, so I can import that back. So let me import that back again so if i go to local drive if i go to desktop if i go to python conda backup yaml and it is asking for python conda backup so now let's import that okay so it was able to install all the packages from the backup so like i just uh, imported them and i am able to see 34 packages available 
so it looks like it is a successful so we have created many environment for the demonstration purpose and okay by mistake i clicked somewhere and it is showing like it's again loading so just just to be on a safer side i'll just open my windows terminal okay and i'll just verify what are the environments that got created and whether it is actually showing up over here or not so i'll do conda env list yep con python conda backup uh, yt test yt test clone so yep so we are able to we are able to do all the functionalities like we are able to backup and import successfully into our in using the anaconda navigator so now i will remove few environments so let me remove them so i'll remove and delete so now it was able to successfully remove the python environment it took almost like a like 2 minutes to do that so as i said previously stating multiple times this is pretty slow so just be ready that this is going to be really really slow but for the people who don't want to use a terminal this is the like one of the other ways you can configure you can create your environment you can clone them import them backup remove okay and there are few other options like channels and uh, we have the update index i am i have not used this two options like much but hopefully if you want you can take a look but apart from that so you can use anaconda navigator if you don't want to use the terminal conda like the terminal version of conda so i hope this video was helpful if it was do press that like button thank you for watching i am going to see you in an awesome upcoming programming video